It can't be stressed enough the importance of characters. In books, in films, in plays, and in games. I don't think anything demonstrates that better than The Last of Us, because, in my opinion, you might differ. Nothing bettered it before, and nothing bettered it after. It's just the perfect example of how to do characters in games. But it's more than that. If you look at each one of these characters, each one will throw up a personal view of who they are, how they move, their demeanour, everything tells you something about that character. So if you're going to incorporate any of these characters into your level, what you need to do, in my opinion, is to take one of these characters before you even start your level and then build your level around it, as opposed to building your level, making it look fantastic and then trying to put a character within it. Because you're going to come across a lot of technical difficulties. You know, you might have made that embankment a little too steep, you might have made those steps a little too big. So find out what the characters do, how they behave, how they move, how they act, and build your environment around it. I'm not alone in that. I've seen a few developers within the Dreams community and outside of the Dreams community saying similar things. So that's not, I am a noob, you know I'm a noob, but I am listening and I am just conveying what I've heard from people who know far better than I do. And that is something I will definitely bear in mind when I start making games. I will start making games. You know, it's going to take a while for me to learn the tools. I'm not very good. But yeah, you, the characters are the thing I'm interested in the most. From an early age, I watched people. Trying to evaluate what I thought they were, who they were, how they would act, how would they act at home. Do they act at school in the same way they acted at home? When they're on the streets, why have they got a different persona on the streets than when I see them at school or in their home when they're confronted with their parents? Everyone seems to wear masks. We all wear masks. Sometimes we're hiding insecurities. Sometimes we're hiding something else, something deeper. But that you need to bear that in mind when you're thinking of writing for a character because it's important it's important to know more about the character than the person who's playing or reading or watching that way subtext can come through you can convey something subtly without them even knowing what you're conveying so when you pick a character Think about that character. Don't just see it as something that moves around with a camera on it that's convenient for a player to prod around with a controller. Think of it as a real thing. In one of my videos coming up, I don't know whether it'll be before or after EA, I'm going to be talking about narrative. And I'll probably go into it a little bit more detail on that. I am not, I'm a bit of a noob when it comes to writing too, but over the years, I've studied writing for, I've studied writing for 25 years, and even though I've not, I've only been published in a few small places, I did pick up a lot of useful hints. And, you know, I passed those hints on to people, and they were appreciative. So, hopefully, I can pass a few on to you. So anyway, that's this one. Oh yeah, you enjoyed it. Bit of a rambly one, but anyway, see you all. See you on the next one.